I've got to talk about this video. I know that you've probably seen it by now, but if you haven't seen it, uh, this is such an important video, such an important video because it shows you how extreme the GOP is. And I don't want to make it seem as if this is a new phenomenon, that the GOP is getting increasingly extreme. Yes, that's true, broadly speaking, but there has always been very, very far right, overtly racist elements within the GOP. And, you know, not all Republicans are racists, but if you're a racist, you're a Republican, unquestionably. Okay, so take a look. This is from The Good Liars. Keep it flying? And, and why do you want to keep it flying? Why do you want to, why would anybody want to erase our heritage? Now he's talking about the Confederate flag, by the way. He has it on his shirt. And, you know, for me, if my heritage was that my ancestors were a bunch of piece of shit slave owners and supported segregation, uh, I would want to forget that heritage. I wouldn't want to remember that. I would run away from that. But this motherfucker is like, nope, I'm proud of this heritage. Yup. We owned people as property before and segregated the blacks and the whites. And I like that. Go fuck yourself. You boomer piece of shit. Go fuck yourself. How dare you? And, you know, before, you'd at least be optimistic because at least people like this, he's like 97, he's going to die soon. But there's a whole new generation of bigots and racists who, they're just like out of the closet again, for lack of a better word. Tucker Carlson, Donald Trump, they have made it so that way the dog whistles are now bullhorns where it's socially acceptable to an extent to be openly racist. So, you know, if you're waiting for these folks to die, there's a whole new generation. Like, yeah, this is the problem. You, you can't have your strategy be to wait out the racists. Just, you know, wait until they die because that's not going to lead to, you know, um, racism going away, unfortunately. I wish it were true, but it's not. Well... Some people would say that that flag symbolizes uh, racism, it symbolizes slavery, um, and they might have some valid points there. Uh, that's their opinion, you know, they're welcome to their opinion if they want it. Actually, no, that's a fact, dipshit. That's a fact. Maybe you should read a fucking book, Grandpa, and stop watching Fox News, you dumb piece of shit. Are you, are you pro-slavery or against slavery? I have no comment. Uh, thank you for the interview. No, uh, just imagine not having a comment on slavery. To not have a comment on slavery means that de facto you are pro-slavery. Because anyone who's against it would unequivocally say, of course slavery is bad. Of course, we shouldn't be allowed to own literal fucking human beings as property. But he doesn't have a comment on that. I'll give you one more chance. Pro, pro or anti-slavery? No comment. I, well, I'll give you one more opportunity to say if you're pro or anti-slavery. No, I don't, no comment. All right. Well, there you have it. No, no comment on the uh, if you're in favor of slavery or not. Which means you're in favor of slavery. You're in favor of slavery. Keep flying. Keep flying that flag. Whose grandpa is this? Come and get your grandpa, folks. Who's this dipshit? Listen. If this is your grandfather and you're watching this, the next time you're at his home, and really this is advice that I would give to anyone, go to their TV when they're not looking and put a parental lock on Fox News. You can easily set up parental controls, lock them out of Fox News, and I promise you, this is the way to save the country, right? They probably won't change from their reactionary ways of thinking because it's so ingrained in them because they were raised this way. But you can at least stop them from further devolving, from the brain rot, from getting so bad that, you know, the brain goo leaks out of their ears. So, you know, this is something that you have to do. You have to lock your grandparents and your parents out of Fox News. Newsmax 2, right? One American News, lock them out of that. And um, this is the way that you, uh, you do it. Block it. Block Fox News. Literally, I, I, like this is a recommendation. I'm not being facetious. I'm saying... Block Fox News from your parents and grandparents. Set up parental controls. It's not that difficult. You can easily do it. Lock them out with the password. They'll never guess. Okay? That's the way. This is the way. And when they come over for Thanksgiving, don't feed them. The second they say conservative things, you take the plate away. That I'm being facetious. But I mean, like, you, you've got to push back. That's the resistance. That's the way to fight. 
right? Stop the brain rot, block Fox News. Now, unfortunately for this motherfucker here, it's not just Fox News. His brain was rotted long before. He's a fully leveled up racist. He's level 99 racism, Max, maxed out, can't go any further, right? And so if you go fully to the dark side, this is how aged you become. He might actually be like 25 years old, but just going into the dark side, like, do you remember the game Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic? And based on decisions that you made, you would either become more good or evil. You'd become a Jedi or you'd become a Sith Lord. And as you became a Sith Lord, your face would get more warped and you'd look more evil and fucked up. That's this dude right here. Every single uh, dialogue option that popped up, he chose to be evil and racist. And at the young age of 25, this is what he looks like because he's a, he's a fucking racist Sith Lord. That's where he's at. <laughs> My motherfucker is so so racist that his outside reflects his inside he's as ugly on the outside as he is on the inside he's 25 but he kept dying in sifu because he's too racist <laughs> exactly exactly for those of you who don't know sifu is a video game i haven't played it yet but basically you uh each time you die you age more and i believe you get different ability abilities excuse me based on on your your age in that game until it's eventually a permadeath. But yeah, he died too much, and this is where we're at.